Hi, uh, my name is George Mutua. I'm a husband and I'm a father of four. I'm a former banker, uh, but above all, I'm an entrepreneur and a business person. I was employed um, as a banker, and of course, um, I used to learn so much from my customers because they used to come and uh, bank money with me. So out of curiosity, I started uh, wondering where are these people getting this money to come and bank. So I realized that uh, a good number of them were business people actually. And I started uh, uh, developing interest in business and becoming an entrepreneur. And now throughout my employment period, I decided uh, I was meant to be an entrepreneur. And especially because of what I learned from my customers. Global Precast Panels came about uh, a time when me and my wife wanted to do our role at home. And being a city dweller, we did not have much time to go and uh, spend time in the village, uh, monitoring and doing construction. So we were looking for solutions that uh, would help us do our house real quick and uh, with minimal supervision and without uh, the inconveniences that we usually hear of or what you had suffered before. So having traveled, um, we uh, learned about uh, precast or other technologies that are used in other countries. Uh, but now when we came to do our research locally, we were looking for precast because we had come across it somewhere. Then we realized that there was no one who was offering that solution. And that was quite interesting because it's a technology that we had seen or learned or heard of uh, from different uh, areas, of course not within the country. So we saw that as an opportunity and uh, we thought about it and we did our research and now we decided to give it a trial. I've said that I was a banker, so of course by the time I was quitting employment, I had some bit of savings. But uh, first and foremost, we had to do a lot of research. After doing research, we realized that uh, we needed to set up the business. Uh, now we had to travel to go and get the machinery from the savings that we had. And of course, we had to source for uh, financing from the local banks. We had to start slowly. Uh, by trying the very first product on our own house. Actually how it happened is that um, we still had the need of doing our own house but now we did not know and we did not have the know-how. So we got a few guys, a few friends, uh, we started doing the job and a few uh, fundies who were willing to learn. So once we did the first batch of production, we went and we tried it with our house in Meru. And now, once we had the house standing, there's a lot of learning that uh, we got from that, and that's what gave us the confidence to go out to the market. Mostly, our day is um, dictated by day-to-day -day needs and especially by our clients. Uh, a client will want to meet you very early in the morning or even late in the evening. So you are no longer your own boss because now your client is the king, the client is your boss. So these are the ones who determine how your day looks like. Uh, so before the day starts, you already know how your tomorrow looks like because you have a diary, you have a calendar of the clients that you're going to visit or clients who are visiting your office or the project that you are overseeing. So our day to day is dictated by our clients' needs and actually their schedules because you have to work at their convenience. I have a lot of passion uh, for this job and I'm a performer. Uh, money comes as a motivator, but you need to do a job that you have passion for, a job that you like, uh, this is not like employment whereby you have to wait for your boss to give you a call. Sometimes you find yourself working very early in the morning or very late in the night. So a lot of passion and uh, being a performer and uh, wanting to stay on top. This is something new and uh, we're going to be the market leaders.
I started by saying that uh, we found a need. Because when we were looking for this uh, particular product, we could not find it in the market. So we saw that as an opportunity. And um, of course, uh, with all the resistance, we said we still want to try this. And uh, when we did our house and it turned out to be an amazing unit, we got the confidence of uh, doing the job. And now that became our first uh, show house. We could actually get clients as far as Nairobi who wants to see. Remember, um, our perception is when you tell someone that this house has been built of uh, precast or we do precast, someone asks you, um, can I see a house? And by the time we were starting, we had no show houses. So we had to like travel, you take a client from Nairobi, all the way they go, they see the house and they're like amazed. And I mean, this is how the house looks like. And then the client is like, here's the plan. Uh, you go ahead to build it for me. Let me see how it looks like. So of course, because of the advantages that uh, comes with the precast, then uh, it helped us with the journey uh, as we progress. Precast is uh, concrete just like the normal concrete that you're used to. The only difference is that um, this is made at a factory setup and a controlled environment. Um, and it's reinforced and uh, it's just like any other normal concrete. I believe if you use the expressway, um, you realize better part of the road is suspended. And uh, if you saw what the Chinese were doing is that uh, they were not doing the concrete there. It was being done elsewhere then transported and you have a bridge or you have a road or um, whatever it is. So it's a concrete that we're used to. The only difference is that it's cut at a factory in a controlled environment, then now it's delivered to your site. Where you're doing your construction, it becomes more of an assembly point as opposed to cutting everything there. So it's not anything that is new and it's not anything that is temporary. It's only that it's done in a factory, transported, you have your house assembled, and now uh, you, you save a lot of money, you save a lot of time, and it comes with a lot of in, uh, convenience. We, we met a client who was like us, a risk taker, and he wanted to start a school. But because of uh, time limitations, uh, they were not going to achieve that using the normal um, brick and mortar because that takes a lot of time. So when we proposed um, this, this technology to him, who happens to be our friend, he was like, by the way, I'm a risk taker and I think I would like to try this because of the benefits that it comes with it. Uh, just give it a trial. And then we tried with a school, we started with uh, a few classrooms uh, and they turned out to be uh, an amazing experience because uh, we learned but uh, at the end of the day we got everything right and now from there we've never looked back and now that's how we've uh, grown our market uh, from day one to where we are currently. Precast is pretty new according to what people say uh, but for us it's not new. And I remember then again in construction, we used to brick and mortar because this is what you were born and brought up, knowing uh, that if you want a permanent house, you have to go there with uh, brick and mortar. Uh, now, there's a lot of uh, um, perception, people thinking that it's a new technology, so probably they don't want to try it. Others think it's temporary, which is not the case. Um, others, uh, who for some reasons are used to the traditional method, and because of what they stand to gain, they don't uh, like our technology. I, I don't know whether you've had cases of people saying that uh, my cement has been stolen. <laughs> it's very true. So those guys who've always earned something 
from the construction, they don't want to embrace this because of what they stand to gain. You know, for precast, it's very precise. When you give you a quotation, it's 100%. Nothing is going to change. No one is going to tell you, keep adding a few bags of cement or a few wheelbarrows of sand and all the inconveniences and the loopholes that are there. So with precast, everything is very precise. So it's um, not easy for someone even to manipulate it. Being uh, something that is not uh, very common in the country, people are still saying it's a new product. I would want to come and try this product uh, five years from now. So those are some of the challenges that we are facing in the market currently. For me, I, I had a, uh, a lot of learning to do when I was still um, employed. And I think um, I have quite a lot of uh, customer experience. So definitely you have to take the, positive, uh, the feedback positively and uh, make sure that you do your job well and be thorough in whatever you do. Mostly we tend to take customer feedback as complaints, uh, which is not necessarily the case because we are here because of our customers. We have to listen to them we have to address whatever concerns or issues that they do have. So it's more to do with the perception and valuing your customer for who they are and taking their feedback positively and of course trying to improve each and every day. Uh, we keep learning each and every day. First and foremost, don't try to copy someone's idea and uh, think that you can uh, run with it. Uh, we've uh, learned that uh, being a new industry, we had to do a lot of own research and uh, trust ourselves to do uh, the job, but not trying to copy and paste someone's idea. Remember I've said that um, in, in, in other countries probably they don't have the brick and mortar that they're used to, so they do a lot of precast. But our market is different, so you cannot take that idea, come and replicate the same without necessarily understanding your market. So first and foremost you need to understand your market, you need to understand um, your customers. Learning is a never-ending process, so even as for as much as we've been around, we are still learning each and every day. And of course, things keep changing, we are evolving, new products are coming uh, into the market, and the technology keeps changing every other day. We don't have competition in the sense that uh, we compete amongst ourselves or against ourselves, in the sense that we want to be the best. And we always um, ahead of whoever who wants to come and uh, start this kind of business. We are never settled, so even if someone came today and uh, they wanted to start a similar business, we are not on that list. We've already moved ahead. We are planning on what to bring next. And uh, I mean, we are already ahead, so we are never scared. And uh, I would say comfortable that we don't have competition. Referrals do work a lot. And uh, every other job that we do, we do it like it's the first or the last job. Because um, when you go to a site and you're doing a, a project, you're doing a structure, we want to get as much as 
possible. Uh, I mean, like a, a unit should give us 10 more units. So uh, we really rely a lot of um, goodwill from the work that you've done already, and that's referrals. Meaning if you do one project well, you are likely to get business from there. And then uh, secondly, of course now in the world of social media, uh, that's the world is, everyone is on social media and that's where we do a lot of our marketing. And uh, we are very visible on our social media platforms, that's uh, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, all of them. And uh, those are things that you can't run away from. So social media has really helped. Um, where maybe you're not able to reach using the mainstream media. So with the precast, what we are offering is um, solutions. Um, remember, there's a lot of uh, inconveniences that comes with the construction. So we are trying to give you a solution in the sense that you can do your normal work and trust us to do the job. We will not keep calling you every other minute asking for stones, sand, cement, because our products come uh, complete. And now when you're doing a quotation also, remember we are able to do a construction or undertake product uh, um, projects uh, anywhere in the country. So we offer you all the solutions from the transportation. So once we give you a quote, it includes the precast. So we tell you this is the cost of the materials, this is the cost of the labor, this is uh, how we are going to transport. We will not even charge you for transport because we have our own uh, trucks. So we give you that peace of mind. So what you do is you just come, uh, once we've given us your plan, we do the quotation, uh, which I said we don't charge, and tell you this is the cost. So once we agree and we've done a contract, you just, uh, just allow us to do the job. Um, and now that means you save on your time also, and you need minimal supervision for your job. The precast panels, uh, they are environment friendly. Uh, remember, even when you're talking about the slab, we don't uh, use uh, uh, the props uh, or the formwork. Uh, ordinarily, what you see people using uh, for the support, which is the trees. Uh, so we are saying you can also save, uh, you also are preserving environment when you go because so you save on those trees that would have been used, or the timber that would have been used as a part of the uh, formwork. Then you've also had issues of uh, sand harvesting, and all that, so we are environment friendly. When it comes to the precast themselves, they are hollow. That means that uh, they are all weather, uh, you're protected against uh, extreme heat or extreme cold, and they are fireproof, waterproof, and also uh, soundproof. So what we need from you as a client ideally is a plan, and um, that is what guides, or that is what you use to do the quotation. So on a normal day, we are looking at uh, maybe an average of 1.5 million for a two-bedroom house, uh, 2.5 million for a three-bedroom house, and maybe between 3 and 3.5 million for, uh, for a four-bedroom house. But then again, there are many uh, uh, things that will come into play, that, that uh, maybe from the design, the kind of finishes that you choose. Uh, besides that, we also have financing. Uh, we work with uh, circles and um, some banks we've partnered with, uh, whereby if you don't have uh, uh, full financing, you can come to Global, come with your plan. After we've done the BQ, then uh, we engage uh, our financing partners who finances the project, and then now uh, you are able to service the loan, whether through your business, or through your salary as in the usual manner. Yeah, people ask about uh, so much about durability, but I can tell you, like I mentioned earlier, this is pure concrete, and it's concrete that has reinforcement for all our products, whether the slab or uh, the wall product, uh, the wall panel. They are reinforced using the normal uh, steel bars. And it's something permanent, we are looking at a 150 years plus. 
so it's not anything that is uh, temporary. And if you look around, like you've seen our factory, you've seen the kind of machinery that you use, heavy vibration, uh, automated machinery, that means uh, even when it comes to doing the ratios, we have everything to, you have everything right. And of course, we, we work with our professionals. Like I mentioned earlier, we have our, our, our team. We have uh, from the structural engineer, civil engineers, to the architect and all that. So uh, at the end of the day, you are dealing with professionals and it's not just work like uh, what you're used to out there. The world of precast is uh, quite wide. Um, we are looking at uh, bringing in more and more uh, products into the market. Remember right now we are talking about uh, the precast uh, perimeter fence, we are talking about the house, uh, house slab, we are talking about the wall slabs, we are talking about the staircase uh, in precast. So there's a lot of products, we've not even uh, touched uh, this industry. So we are looking at bringing more and more products into the market. And this is the future. Remember even as we sit here, uh, the quarries that we have, the rock keeps uh, getting repeated every now and then, which means even the quality of the rock uh, is changing over time. In the next 20, 30 years, we'll not have the quarries from. So this is the way to go. We'll have to do precast, and precast is the future of construction. If you're looking uh, into getting the, to this kind of business or any other kind of business, uh, you need to do a lot of research, uh, get to understand what you want exactly. Uh, it's not a walk in the park. You need to do a lot of research and uh, you need to have your heart there. Of course, business is uh, not as easy as uh, people may think. Uh, it takes a lot of your time, a lot of your energy, a lot of your resources. And uh, sometimes uh, things might not always go right, so you need to be strong. And uh, when, when you try and it doesn't work out, you try again and again. In terms of uh, time taken during construction, uh, we take the shortest time possible. Actually, for a simple classroom, it can be done in two weeks. We can do um, a normal bungalow, like a three-bedroom house, let's say in three weeks. On a normal day, it will take you uh, three, four months before you finish the house. And that's also where you also realize your savings because the lesser time you take, the less your labor costs. That means you also save on money. Global Precast, uh, we are a manufacturing ca company, so we manufacture the precast, but at the same time, we also do construction. So we are located uh, in Kitengela along Namanga Road, uh, next to Ola Petrol Station. We don't charge for quotation, we don't charge for consultation, we don't charge for site visits, so feel welcome, feel free to, uh, to come and pay us a visit or you can reach us through our various uh, social media platforms that Global Precast Panels on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and TikTok. Or you can give us a call um, on 0796 247 267 or 0702 247 267. Yeah.